hello and welcome to another postman tutorial so in this tutorial we'll learn about cookies in postman and how you can manage cookies before you are going to actually design and do the testing for cookies in postman so before we go into details of cookies and how to manage cookies in postman i want to give you a brief understanding about the cookies so cookies are nothing but the small files that are sent from the web server to the client so for example your browser and they store the necessary information so for example you are trying to shop online and you add the items in cart okay so it is the cookie files that stores that particular information the items that you add and next time when you close the browser without being logged on or even if you're logged on and you reopen uh, the browser you will still see those items still added in the cart and this is all possible because of the cookie files that are being sent from the server to your client which is which might be your chrome or uh, and they are saved in your computer and once you access the browser again and you are again on that particular website or the e-commerce website you will be able to fetch the items that you have added previously so this is one of the use case there are many other uh, examples of cookies or the use cases that you will be using when you are actually testing uh, or doing the cookie testing so we'll cover some of the other examples when we actually dig into the testing and start doing cookie testing in postman now let's understand the cookie functionality provided by postman postman provides you to manage the cookies for domain add the cookie edit cookie and uh, delete the cookie so for example if we see this particular request right we if we see the cookies header here then you can see the name of the cookie and the value for this particular domain and in the header if you see that set cookie has been returned in the response from the server to basically set this particular cookie so for example if we just delete this request let me delete all these requests and i won't save it so let me copy this and close it i won't save it and i'll create a new get request let me send this and after sending this request if we go to the headers here you will see the list of temporary headers okay and there is no cookie in this particular header but if you see the headers in the first response here you will see set cookie header a key has been set with the cookie that has been returned by the server okay so set cookie is the key that is used to to set the cookies that are returned by the server and then this cookie gets saved in the cookies section of the postman as well so cfd uid has been saved with the value um, that has been returned for that particular cookie now if you send this response again okay let's send it again now you can see in the temporary headers you will see the cookie has been saved already okay and in the header it won't be sent again because that cookie has been already saved the cookie that has been sent by the server uh, has been already saved in postman and that is why it hasn't been returned again so cookie header is basically used to send the cookie from the client uh, and set cookie is to set the cookie in the postman now to manage your cookies you can go to the cookies link here in the right hand side and click cookies and you can see whatever domains you have worked with all the cookies that are utilized in those domains have been saved here so if you want to edit the cookie just click on the cookie here and you can edit and see the details of the cookie what all domain it belongs to what is the cookie and what is the path whether it's http, HTTP only and when does it expire so it's pretty um, easy to understand and readable if you want to add a new cookie custom cookie that is also very easy so i can you can click on just add cookie 
and name rename the value here so i'll say test cookie and i'll provide the value as rcv and then it automatically took the domain and the path if i click on save here and close it and now if i run this send request again hit the send request again let's see what all cookies will be sent so you can see the cookie that has been sent is the cookie that was saved earlier as well as the test cookie that i have provided in the cookie in the custom cookie right so now here in the cookie section you will see two cookies that are available so postman provides it uh, the, the cookie different cookie section to help you to analyze what all cookies are being utilized and uh, help you in the cookie testing if you are doing the cookie testing for the api um, that is why it becomes pretty easy and comfortable if you are viewing the cookies in a separate uh, tab instead of uh, viewing it in the headers or the temporary headers right so that is manageable from here under the cookies section now to delete the cookie just go to the cookie section and to just click on the cross sign here to delete your cookie okay and if you want to delete the domain altogether just click on cross sign and you will see cookies for domain google.com deleted successfully and postman it's pretty uh, storage of cookie is very similar to what it will be done uh, in the browser so postman stores the cookie very similar to the browser